Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you you also recently got into a bit of a Twitter thing with Donald Trump Jr. Oh my. Um, a lot of people are, of course, frustrated by Trump's reaction to the terror attack here in New York. Mm -hmm. um, but you said recently uh, via tweet that Trump and his family have done more damage to America than Bin Laden and ISIS combined. Yes. Do you believe that? Yeah, we're, we're, we did really well after 9-11. I don't think we, the country has given itself enough credit for what we did not do after 9-11. We, we did not restrict all of the freedoms in this country. We did not yeah. single out people. We yeah. did not destroy the fabric. people died on 9-11. Yes. I mean, the comparison is absurd. Well, do you mean the time but, after? But, then, but more people died in the Iraq war than died in 9-11, and we didn't need to be there you as You think that Bin Laden did less to damage America than President Trump? Yes. Can I tell you something? When I hear rhetoric like what? that, I want, I think Whoopi and I are in agreement that we want Americans to come together. And rhetoric like that is so damaging. And by the way, my brother fought in the Iraq war and deployed numerous times. So before we start tit for tatting, there's a lot of service in my family. Yes. So I don't understand when you're saying things like that. Bin Laden was dedicated to the destruction of all everything that we hold dear in our freedom. So when you Perhaps compare some people it to think that, Trump is dedicated yeah. to the destruction I believe of, I'm asking of things the question. Too. I believe I'm asking people. Well, I, well, actually, it was my question. Okay, so what's okay, your answer? So somebody asked well, the damn question. Right, what's the question? What's the question? The question is, my question was, do you honestly believe no, that? No, Why is no, you're making a, uh, you're saying no. that going into Iraq was worse than what bin Laden did on 9-11, is what you said. Yeah, and that's you what believe that. off. Yeah. I do, and it's not about disrespecting the troops in the slightest. Or the, or the servicemen, or your father's service, I'm which astounds me well, to answer. this day that he was able to, to do that. And his service to this country right now astounds me, and I applaud him. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying the Iraq war was, not, was, was, a, was a waste of these people's lives, and it was unnecessary. From your perspective. Well, I think, I think history suggests that we, the, the two things didn't have anything to do with one another. How do people like us find common ground? Because I'm not interested in this sort of like, because we disagree vehemently on our outlook on the world. And I'm I'm so tired of, of this kind of rhetoric. And I'm tired of it on the right as well. I'm exhausted with it. I think most, most Americans can. Do you want President Trump to fail? Do you want America to fail? Because I'm genuinely curious. Stay tuned oh, for the answer. Oh, no. <laughs> when we come back, before Keith.